everyone! In this video, we are going to learn all about joysticks. What they are, how they work, how to interface them with prototyping boards like Evive and Arduino, and how to program them in Pictoblocks. Finally, we'll have a look at what wonders we can create using them. Let's begin. You must have either used a joystick a lot while playing your favorite game or at least have seen someone play with it. It has a stick that moves left, right, front and back and lets you control the position of the character that you play in the game and a device that detects the position of the stick. It is therefore a position sensor. The joystick gives the value along the X and the Y axis. It has two potentiometers, one for each axis. As we move the joystick, the value of resistance of both the potentiometer changes. This change in turn gives us the value along the X and the Y axis. The joystick gives out an analog input, that is, a voltage varying in the range of 0 and 5 volt. By default, the joystick will give the value in the range of 400 to 600 and the value will increase or decrease as we move the joystick around. It also has a push button on it for input. Now that we know how a joystick works, let's connect it with a wife and see it in action. Connect the ground pin to Evive's ground pin. Connect the VCC pin of the joystick to plus 5 volt pin on Evive. Connect the X axis signal pin to the A0 pin on Evive. Connect the Y axis signal pin to the A1 pin. Now let's create the script to control the joystick in Pictoblocks. It is a graphical programming software based on scratch blocks. You can download it from the link given in the description box below. Before doing anything else, connect Evive to your computer using a USB cable. Next, open Pictoblocks. Then click on the board button and select Evive from the drop down. Now from the dialog box it appears, choose the appropriate serial port. We will create the script to make Toby move according to the change in the value of joystick. First, select a backdrop of your choice. Now we will make two variables, namely joystick X and joystick Y. to store the values obtained from the joystick. Then, we will set the values of variables based on the values we are getting from the joystick. Now, let's change Toby's X and Y coordinates to the value obtained from joystick using the set X2 and set Y2 blocks. Now, we need to map the values obtained from the joystick in terms of the coordinates of the stage so that we can move Toby around using the joystick. Finally, to run the script continuously, we'll use the forever block. Now we'll place a when flag clicked hat block above the forever block. It will ensure that the script runs when the green flag is clicked. Since everything is perfectly fine, let's create a script to control joystick without having a wife connected to the computer. For that, we'll have to work in the upload mode. First, switch to the upload mode. Now we will create a script to make an emoji move on a wife's display by moving the joystick. We will use the same variables we created for the previous script for storing the values obtained from the joystick. Now let's set the screen color as black and display the emoji at the position obtained from the joystick. We will need to map the values obtained from the joystick in terms of the screen coordinates to display the emoji. Now 
Now let's add a weight block to display the emoji at its current position for 0.1 seconds. Next, add a forever block to run the code continuously. Place the when arrive starts up head block to execute the program. Now that you know how a joystick works, you can use it to control a robotic arm or can even make your own custom game controller and much more. That's it for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. For more such educational content, subscribe to STEMpedia and follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Bye-bye.